All right, what we have here is a pear-shaped diamond that needs to fit into this mounting right here. But this diamond is cut so weird that it doesn't fit this mounting or any mounting. So I've got to make it go in there. But first, before I set it, let's weigh it just to see how big of a diamond it is. All right. Watch it for a second. It's probably going to go up to 0.95. All right. It's just slightly less than a carat. Okay. So basically, this mounting fits here to here, but it doesn't fit on the sides. And this is, let me show you what this mounting looks like. So it's a six prong mounting. And what I, I could get one that fit the side prongs, but then it didn't fit the end prongs. So I opted to go with these two that fit and these are too small. So what I'm gonna have to do is adjust these. So I'll show you how I do that. All right, I'm just kind of winging it here. Basically just kind of guessing where I want them to be. All right, Anna, let's see if we can look down on top of this. Give me a second to get it set up. Now you can see the tops of all of the prongs, and this is about where I want it. So that's close enough for me to start. So the first thing I want to do, well, I've got two choices. I can either cut these five prongs or cut the tip first. Ah, let's do the tip. That's the hard part. All right, so right here is the little the end prong where the point's gonna go. And all I'm trying to do is get a little divot created. Oops, almost got a big divot created. Get back over here. All right, straighten up, play nice, Burr. All right, I just needed a little divot. Now I'm gonna take a drill bit in there. All right, now I'm taking a little tiny drill bit and I'm probably only going about halfway through this. All right. All right, what we're doing with that point, normally with a diamond, if your diamond's here, you want your prongs to just grab it as tight as you can. But when a stone has a point on it, if it touches metal, it takes a chance of breaking it. So what we're gonna do is create a void inside the prong and we're gonna grab it like this. So this is what we're doing here is we're creating that void for the tip. Okay, when it comes to stone setting burrs, this is the one that I'm going to use when I'm cutting the side prongs, but this burr, which is normally used for colored stones because they're kind of fatter on the bottom, but this is the shape burr that I'm going to use to create the void, but I've got to get one a lot smaller than that, but just wanted you to know that this is for one part of the job. This shape is for another part. All right, you got it. All right, so now I'm gonna take that little burr and go right in there and create that little hole. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just running down that end prong, I'm taking a very small round burr and just kind of cut me a little bit of a groove in there just to kind of basically to eliminate any interference or any place the stone could bump. Something like that right there. See if you can get a good shot of that. Okay, so remember we used this shape burr here to basically 
uh, let me get center, to go into the point this way and create a void. Now we're going to take this shape burr and we're going to cut seats for the diamond to sit on and just basically, I'm just going to come in here. And just cut a notch right like that. Well, let me straighten it up a little. Okay, we're going to cut a notch like that that the diamond will sit in. So let me do that on all five of these prongs. All right, so now you can see the five notches, but this pear diamond is so, it's got such a weird cut that this notch doesn't fit my diamond, so I'm going to have to come back in with this style burr that's got a much deeper cut on it, and I'm going to have to come back in and basically change those little notches to this shape. So give me a second. All right, now, most pear diamonds are not this fat through here. This is almost, or you could almost just basically cut this tip off and have a round diamond. Very few pairs are like that, so that's my problem. But this prong and this prong need to go this direction. My diamond won't pop in there, so let's take, drop that diamond out. Let's come in right here. Come out just a little bit on these two front ones. Grab that diamond wherever it fell. All right, looky there. I think I'm happy with it. Let me just give it a once over and make sure I'm happy. All right, the edge of this diamond right here is called the girdle. And this girdle is way fatter than most of them. Most of them almost come to a point right there, but the notch I cut doesn't fit this girdle because this girdle's cut like it is. So I'm going to do something I don't do very often, and I'm going to come in here, and I've got a small round burr, and I'm just going to try to come in here and create a bigger void so that girdle's got a place to sit. And I'll do that on all five of these prongs. What I'm gonna do is just take this burr and I'm, whoops. Man, I was gonna make this the first one I ever set where I didn't let my burr slip and I let it slip. I can fix it. So now I'm just gonna use this to kind of clean this edge up to match my diamond. All right, before I set the diamond, I'm gonna get in here and polish out my little slip up. You'll never see it when I'm done. All right, I've got everything cut. I've got all the seats cut. I've got it pre-polished. Pretty much got it like I like it. So now, this is where the money comes in. This is where you start putting pressure on this diamond and you cross your fingers, you don't break it. All right, I'm gonna start. Let me move this. Annie, you may have to come straight down. All right, so understand we've got one, two, three, four, five prongs here, one on the tip. So I'm only gonna concentrate on these four first. So I'm going to cross like this and squeeze these two, come over here, squeeze these two. And I kept my tip right in the center now, I'm going to come in here, 
and I'm only on this back prong back there. Bend it over now, just kind of work myself around here. All right, now look straight down on it. And if you'll look, you can see the point slightly off, which is okay. I was expecting that a little bit, so let me just squeeze it here and here. Oops, squeezed it too hard. All right, now my point's right where it needs to be but I'm gonna drive this home last. I'm gonna make sure I get all of these where I want them first and get them cleaned up first. All right, I still haven't moved this end prong yet. I've got all my other five where I want them. Now, because like I said, I'm not gonna move that last one till the very end. So now, I'm just gonna come in here and round out the square ends of these prongs. Just gives it a better look. You don't have to do it. I just like to do it because I like to look better. But I'm just going to do this on all five of these prongs. And there's just no reason to have any pressure on that tip when you're still banging around on this mounting. All right, now, I'm just going to go in here with a hand brush, and I still haven't moved that in prong yet. I'm just going to go in here and kind of hand polish all of this. This is the money shot. I'm going to just bend this over. Doesn't have to go far. All it's doing is protecting that end, and it's not really holding anything. So now... And if you're asking yourself, does every pear-shaped diamond or fancy-shaped diamond have to have the head modified so much? Yes and no. If it's a natural diamond, then they don't really cut them to specs because you're starting with a very rare crystal that came out of the ground and you're basically cutting something based on the crystal you have so they don't really cut them calibrated. And all the heads and things come in calibrated sizes. Now, if you start getting into things like lab-grown diamond or cubic zirconia or something, then, yeah, all of those are cut to exact specifications. But with a natural diamond, this was just basically whatever the crystal said that they could do, this is what they got. something about this to you and I'll get where we can see it real close all right the curve of the stone right here is different than the curve of the stone on this side so and then the way it curves around the back isn't real even and the tip is slightly off to one side so this was a challenging stone to set but I think it came out pretty good